Venice, a stunning city that needs to be on your bucket list. Let me show you why. Keep watching for the must-visit sites, delicious food and some money hacks. Traveling made easy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm happy to have you here. My name is Julia and I will guide you through beautiful Venice 20 top tips you shouldn't miss. So let's start right with number one. Buy a two or three day ticket for the water buses because it's much cheaper and allows for unlimited rides. As you surely know, Venice is the city of canals, so walking doesn't get you everywhere. Also, your water bus is not only a means of transport, but a great way to do some chill sightseeing, so enjoy the ride! Moving on to the maybe most beautiful place in Venice, Piazza San Marco or St. Mark's Square. Surrounded by cafes, the clock tower and the basilica, the square offers many activities or motives for beautiful camera shots. Please consider that if you want to enter the basilica, you must wear clothing that covers your shoulders and knees. And I came here to shop, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Besides the many luxury stores, Venice is packed with little boutiques selling handcrafts like glassware and nice leather bags, clothes and basically any kind of souvenir. No matter if you come for Venice Carnival or not, you can admire the gorgeous masks all year round. Well, that's the kind of mask I like. To get back with culture, let's visit Palazzo Ducale. This landmark once functioned as the residence of Venice's supreme authority. Built in 1340, the facade of the building is in Gothic style. Also, the interior is worth a visit. Golden ceilings, huge paintings and an interesting history awaits you inside. Book in advance and online to save time and skip the line. The palace houses courtrooms as well as a prison which is connected by the famous Bridge of Sighs, where prisoners would see the outside world for one last time in a long while. If you're in for a stroll with a nice view, go to the promenade which is right in front of the Palazzo Ducale. The fresh breeze coming from the lagoon works wonders on hot days like these. Watch the painters create their artworks or grab an ice cream. Speaking of food, you thought I was not gonna mention the awesome food? I mean, this is the best part of each holiday, right? No matter if it's truffle pasta or something with seafood and of course pizza, literally everything is delicious here. Only pay attention if there are some locals in the restaurant, that's always a good sign. So dig in guys!
Once we have recharged our batteries, on to some more sightseeing. Remember the bridge of size? The outside view is much better, so pretty, right? There are literally 300 bridges in Venice. But another Venice staple you need to see is the Rialto Bridge. What makes it special is that there are little stalls for shops right on the bridge. Still, you have two great views behind these shops, which naturally attract many visitors. So, if this bridge is on your to-do list and you prefer to be a bit emptier, do not come on the weekends or at least be early. Where your leg space is guaranteed is on a gondola tour. If you book online and are okay with sharing a gondola, like 4 to 5 people max, you can cruise through the city for 30 euros per person instead of up to 100. Maybe it's cliche, maybe not, I just find it super beautiful and relaxing, so I can only recommend to take a tour. Don't you think that the buildings look even more charming from the water? A one-of-a-kind place is the bookstore Aqua Alta. Come on, let's have a look inside. Crammed with books and little knickknacks all up to the ceilings, you can definitely lose track of time here. Pretty cool are the outside areas, because who can say they have climbed a mountain of books before? Can you guess what this amazing building is? It's a shopping mall! Well, even if you don't plan on buying anything, it's a great way to escape the heat for a little while. Also, if you have a reservation for the rooftop terrace, you supposedly have a great view over the Rialto Bridge. Unfortunately, we were too late, but maybe you will make it. At least, you will find clean bathrooms for free, which is not always the case here in Venice. Yes, technically, again, this is food, but the sweets here deserve their own spotlight. My personal favorite, everything with pistachio cream. And you need to make a stop at Suso ice cream. The line might be a little long, but it moves fast, so no worries. So first we have lemon. Mm. Super, super fresh. Mm. By the way, the other flavors are awesome as well, so try them. Just a little outside of Venice, there are some nice beaches. So make the most out of your stay and hop onto a water taxi. Only 45 minutes later, you will find yourself in Lido. If you bought a day ticket, your ride is already included. Relax in the little beach town and cool down by the sea. And a wonderful day with a night walk. Even though Venice might not be known for its clubbing scene, there are cozy little bars all around. Mingle with the locals and try typical Aperol spritz for only about 3 to 4 euros. Cheers! Last but not least, just go with the flow and discover your own personal Venice. 
it's all about the charming side streets and finding that non-touristy pizza place at the next corner. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what your highlight was or do you even have another tip? Take care and see you in the next video. Bye!